What's happening guys? It's your boy PeakumFunFan97 and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to use the trailer, the new feature in iMovie 2014 because it's 2014 and I'm going to show you how to use the new trailers. Um, to begin we're going to go into file and click new trailer and these are the ones or the trailers that iMovie supports so they have included new ones and they've kept some old ones so to begin with action is old they already had that one Adrenal adrenaline is new adventure i believe this one's new i'm not sure but i think this one's old blockbuster that one for sure is uh, new this one is new you know uh they've got a lot that they've made some serious updates and imported a lot so select any of these that you would like um any trailers Keep in mind that it is literally a trailer. It's not, uh, it's not a plugin. You don't have to download anything. It's already built in into iMovie. And what you do with these is you would create a trailer with different kinds of footages. And to do that, you would go and select any of these. Select like this one, Epic Drama. You probably can't hear it, but you can probably hear it from my microphone. So this one's old. Um, they've got, my favorite one is, uh, where is it, is, um, is Retro, I think. <laughs> this one's cool, it gives you an option here, let me pause that, I can pause it. But yeah, you can select this one, and if you'd like, go ahead and select it, I'm going to click Create. Uh, it says the nine-year-old spy. This is as default if you select that one. So I'm going to rename it to uh, trailer tests, uh, not text, test. And you can select it, uh, the event. I'm going to say it basically gives you only one option in projects. Unless you have something else, just click OK. And then it's going to load. It's going to say creating trailer. And once it's finished, um, hold on, whoops. Uh, once it's finished, it's going to give you three options here. Outline, storyboard, and shot list. To do this, you have to have different file footages, like different kind of videos. They can't be all the same. If you do, it'd be kind of boring. But that's the concept of a trailer. You can again uh, give it a movie name, so call it something. I'm going to name it video. As you can see, it gives you a preview. That's really nice. And you don't have to use caps, so video test like that or you can press enter to go into the next line whoops on the next line so this would be the first this would be the top and this would be the bottom like that video test um where it says cast this is where you can star someone's name um say johnny like it already gives you johnny appleseed so i'm gonna keep that at you know you can put your first name last name gender if you're a male or female um studio name it says troll arc <laughs> you can change this if you want but if you guys are familiar then with troll arc then you'll probably know about that uh logo style you can select any of these kind of logos like in the beginning you can do spinning earth in space black background i don't know why it changes but i don't know uh street lamp you can do trees i like the tree one because it's pretty cool and uh, it says directed by, as you can see, there goes my name. It automatically defaults it to all of that. Uh, you can go to storyboard, 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 uh, tongue twister. And right here, it gives you uh, how it begins. You can, you can just move your mouse all over it, and that is the storyboard. Okay, this is how it's gonna, you know, play through the whole trailer. So this is where you start, you know, customizing however you'd like, feel like a director. And this will be the title. You can change this. So say like movie, video, test, <laughs> or something like that. And then in, you can play it uh, by pressing play on the uh, right here. Oh, so beautiful. Um, so yeah, to drag in the footage, say I have this little fishy right here. You would just simply click and drag and it's going to give you a little green circle with a plus sign on it. And you let go. Uh, just like this, if I can do it. Why is it not doing it? Oh, 
I'm selecting the project. <laughs> the video file, sorry. You click the video file, not the actual project. The uh, So you would just click it. Now you can select it. Now keep in mind that um, whatever you do, that's just, this is what's going to select it. It's by default. It only selects it to 3.3 seconds. So whatever, it doesn't matter how long the video size is because it's still going to uh, shrink it down to that actual size. So that's why you can see that it gives you this little square. That is 3.3 seconds. So you click and then we'll import it into right here. So if I were to play it from here. Well, that was loud. You can change uh, how it how you want it to name it. So in the fight between, so say you want it to say hello world and then right here it'd say whoa. Hello world, whoa. <laughs> Makes no sense, but okay. Um, you can mute or unmute the audio if you want to on the video file. You can, whoops, you can start to trim the video if you want to. Um, and you can also delete it. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna undo that. Um, right here, again, it gives you the same options as you would, you know, customize all the text. Again, it gives you, like, it separates them in different keyframes. So right here would be Special Agent, that would be one. And then another one would be Johnny Appleseed. Again, you just select anywhere. Uh, you would click on this first, click on the box where it says empty. Now it may be different, but that's okay. It works on all of them, on all of the trailers. Click anywhere, and then it will uh, import it into the timeline or the storyboard. And that will, you know, just continue your way all the way through. Um, now this right here, um, it gives you somewhere where it says close up. This is where you post, if you have a close up of something, it doesn't have to be someone's face. But it has to be a close up and that will give you that cool effect like this, right? You can action, this would be something that would be moving constantly. This would be a close up, wide angle shot, close up again, and then an action. You got again close up, close up, and then at the end it would give you the credits. You can of course edit the credits if you'd like. You All you gotta do is you would, uh, let's see, in Final Cut Pro 10 you can edit this, the trailer. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do it in iMovie because it's very limited, as you can tell. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think you can edit the credits, which is kind of sucks. The shot list, uh, this is where you will have all the shots that are finished, kind of like finalized, like once it's finished. Uh, it gives you the shots. And again, the outline is your credits. So you can change the credits. So you can change the credits. You've got to do it in the outline. And then say where it's, you want to change where it says directed by, which is right here. Let's see, where is it? You can change that to um, like, I don't know, audio. Uh, all right there, you can see an audio film or something else, um, like a test, and then it'd be a test film. So that would, you can change all of these, edited by, written by, executive producer. You can change all of these to different names if you want. If not, you can leave it as default, which is your name. Music by, of course, you can change this. It's very um, customizable in trailers, but if you wanna be even more customizable, I really, really suggest you guys get Final Cut Pro 10, which is pretty cool. And that is all you're gonna do when you are finished. When you're finished, go ahead and play it through. Click play. You can make it full screen and then press play. <laughs> And there you go, there's your trailer. <laughs> Basically that's it because I have nothing imported into the trailer because I don't have any videos in there. That's why it's really short. You sh you yours guys should be about two minutes at most, a minute actually. So I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys wanna see more iMovie tutorials, then go ahead and share some love by rate leaving a rating. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.